Bowflex Max Trainer M3 Assembly Video. This video is intended to be a supplement to the assembly manual provided with your product. Please be sure to read your assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. Step 1. Before beginning assembly, please open all boxes to confirm that all parts necessary are present. Step 2. Attach the rail assembly to the frame. This should be done using four socket head screws and washers. Hardware should only be hand tightened during this step. Because some components are heavy and awkward, we recommend using two people to complete the next couple of steps. Step 3. Release the frame from the shipping plate using the 13 mm wrench. Step 4. Have the second person carefully lift the frame assembly from the shipping plate. Attach to the stabilizer assembly by hand tightening four socket head screws and washers. Beginning with the hardware from step 2, go back and tighten all the hardware. Step 5. Cut the zip ties using a Phillips head screw. Attach the rear shroud to the frame assembly and then insert the caps. Step 6. Attach the leg assembly with a socket head screw, washer, and cap. Repeat on the other side. Please note, once leg assemblies are connected, if one moves, the other does as well. Step 7. Attach the pedal to the leg assembly using two socket head screws, washer, and nut. Repeat on the other side. Step 8. Connect the foot pad to the pedal assembly using four socket head screws. Insert foot pad insert. Repeat on the other side. Step 9. Attach the upper handle bar assembly to the frame assembly using three socket head screws and washer. Repeat on the other side. Step 10. Carefully connect the cables on the static handlebar assembly to the frame assembly. Now, attach the assembly to the frame using four socket head screws and washers. Step 11. Attach the shifter assembly to the static handlebar on the right side and tighten set screw. After installing the shifter, please put grip and end cap on the static handlebar. Step 12. Connect the AC adapter to the frame assembly. Step 13. Inspect your machine carefully, making sure that all hardware is tight and components are installed properly before using your product. Step 14. Plug it into the wall socket and enjoy your new Bowflex Max Trainer M3 workout.